Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jack here from Jacktastic Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the basic configurations for a switcher router to include the hostname, the enable secret, and a username and password. Anyways, let's get right into it. Alright, and so to be teaching you guys this, we're going to be using Packet Tracer. Now, if you've never used Packet Tracer before, it's a software that allows you to simulate networking equipment. Uh, it's free, and the link is going to be in the description down below where you can download it. Alright, so what we're going to be using uh, for the beginning of the series is just some 2960 switches. So, for today, we're just going to be using a single one. So, we'll go ahead and we'll just um, rename it like that, because... I don't know that's how I like to do it and then we're gonna go ahead click on the switch and then come over to the command line interface we're just gonna hit return to get started and you should see switch with a little uh, greater than arrow uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in enable and then configure so if you don't want to type something out you can shorthand it and the CLI will know what you're talking about for the most part. Sometimes if there's other commands that are similar, it won't work, but what you can do is I can do config T like that, or I can exit and just do config and then hit tab and it'll bring out configure like that and then T and hit tab again and it'll do terminal. So this is the mode that we're gonna need to be in to make any sort of changes to our switch. So let's go ahead and start with the first change we're going to do, which is going to be the host name. Now the host name is going to change this word right here, switch, to be whatever we want it to be. So we're going to do host name, jack, tac, sw, tac, one. So now when I have a bunch of these switches set up in a network and I'm SSHing or secure shell, um, getting into these switches remotely, I'll be able to know exactly which one I'm in and not have to worry about just putting in the right IP address. So, very simple, this command is just hostname and then the word, so whatever you wanna name it. If you're curious about the syntax of a command, you can type it out like that and then just put a question mark and it'll tell you exactly what its options are. So the next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is we are going to set an enable secret password. So earlier when we typed in enable, we were just able to get into the basic configuration mode here. Uh, which is shown by this little pound sign. So uh, if I want to make it so you need a password to get into that, we can do enable password and then just put in a password, right? But if we do that and I do a do show run, we'll be able to see our enable password is non-encrypted. So anyone who's able to view perhaps a configuration log would be able to see that there is uh, the password of one two three four so what we're gonna do is and to exit out of this you just hit control C since this is unencrypted we don't want that on our system so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do no enable password and that'll get rid of it so no enable password and now if I do another do show run you'll see the enable password isn't there anymore what we do want to do however is an enable secret password so if we do enable and I hit question mark, you can see there are those two options, password and secret. We'll do enable secret, and then we'll do one, two, three, four. And this time when I do a do show run, which is just showing the running config, you'll see that it's encrypted. So you wouldn't be able to find out what that password is if this is saved to a configuration log. So now if I go ahead and I type exit and exit again, and now we're back to where we were when the switch first uh, was powered on and I type EN for enable or type it out like enable you'll see it prompts us for a password and I can't see what I'm typing in so now we're back to here and we can go ahead and get back into configure terminal alright so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create usernames and passwords the reason for this is uh, when I make configurations to my gear at work I want to be able to know uh, who the last person to make any changes to it were. So in case there is something messed up, I'm able to go to that person and be like, hey, what did you change? Because this part of the network isn't working anymore. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to create usernames and passwords. Uh, and it also helps for secure shell. 
So let's go ahead and do the first command, which is username, and then we're just going to do jack.tastic privilege 15, and then we're going to do secret again, just like when we did the enable secret password. This will encrypt it, and we're going to do secret, and I'm just going to do 1234. Uh, now, it's very important, I highly recommend doing this every time you create a um, account or anything on, be it a switch, a router, or even just a server, is to have an administrative account. So we're going to do username, admin, privilege, 15, secret, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so now if I do a do show run again, we'll see our two usernames right here. And we can go ahead and now do our line config so that we're actually able to sign in with them. So let's do line con zero. This is our line config zero. So line con zero. And we're gonna do login local. And then we're gonna do line VTY zero 15. And again, login local. So now if I exit out of all of this, it's going to prompt me for a username. So I'm going to do jack.tastic and then one, two, three, four. So that's the basics of some configurations that are going to carry on through every video in this series. So if you guys like this video, go ahead, drop a like down below. If you didn't like it, drop a dislike. And if you really enjoyed it, tell me why. Tell me what you'd like to see in a future video. And until next time, peace out.